Stone mud flat roof without cement. Traditional technology from Gandhikota, Andhra Pradesh. We will be seeing through this video how houses made in an Indian village in Andhra Pradesh before the arrival of cement in India have withstood the test of time and lasted for more than 200 years. We will also see details of the stone and mud flat roof, which can be used to make two-storey houses or a flat terrace. Gandhikota is a village on the banks of Pena River, Kadapa district, Andhra Pradesh. It's famous for its heritage structures and its magnificent 13th century fort. For those who wish to make a study of Indian natural building, this village provides a wealth of knowledge. If we look at the history, cement arrived in India in the 1950s. It took many years more to reach the villages, where local materials like stone, mud and lime were used much more than a factory manufactured cement. However, if we look to contemporary building practice, no one can even conceive of a house built without the use of cement. So how were houses in India constructed before the arrival of modern cement? Let's see how it was done in Gandhikota. The historic fort at Gandhikota was constructed with sandstone. This and local Kadapa stone are the two kinds of stone which are naturally abundant in the environment here. Inside the fort itself are many houses, almost 200 years old, of which the foundation and wall are built from Kadapa stone, sandstone and mud lime mortar. This combination of building materials it's highly suited to the region's tropical wet-dry climate and high temperatures. The flat stone mud roof. As the area has less rainfall compared to other heavy rainfall regions of the country, flat roofs are used here instead of sloping roofs. The construction of this type of roof is carried out as follows. After strong and thick walls of stone are constructed, Wooden beams are placed as the main structural members of the roof on the wall. Wooden rafters are placed perpendicularly above the beams. On top of rafters, a woven bamboo mat is laid without any gaps. Kadapa stone slabs are laid with mud lime mixture as mortar in between. Finally, a thick overlay of mud and lime is placed on the stone for insulation of the roof. Learnings from these structures all the traditional homes in Gandhikota have used the locally abundant stone as the main construction material in foundation, walls and roof. This is a very sustainable practice in this case as very little energy is spent in procuring the material. There is also a new roof type, different from the common methods of using terracotta tile or thatch for roofing. This can be used in places where a first floor needs to be constructed above the ground floor without a concrete slab. Another alternative method of building a double-storey house using a flat mud roof can be seen in the documentation of a hundred-year-old manna in Palakkad, Kerala. A link with further information about this is provided in the description below this video. After studying the flat mud roofs of old houses in Kerala, Devapi and Kanjankat revived the method and applied it in a contemporary two-storey cob home there. The house was constructed in 2011 See the documentation link below to know more details. The houses in Gandhikota have remained intact for more than 200 years now, which goes to show that applying traditional knowledge in the correct way can result in long-lasting structures. Another example of a traditional and enduring natural building technique is wattle and daub. Houses constructed more than 300 years ago using this method can be found still standing in Ganjam near Mysore. See the link below for more details. Homes constructed using these traditional building methods are highly eco-friendly as very little energy is spent to procure the necessary materials. This is the opposite of most modern homes which often use lorries to transport cement vast distances from the point of manufacture. Cement which has been produced in an energy intensive process using resources which have been mined at a considerable cost to the environment. Maybe it's time to look back into the past for some more low impact ways of building a roof over your head. <laughs>